Hi there, welcome back to the second episode of Arts of Iron 4, no step back with Russia, with the Soviet Union, to be precise. So, in the last episode we started with um, uh, a focus on the industrialization, especially on infrastructures. Uh, we opened, of course, uh, our intelligence agency. We tried to keep uh, Big Moustache Stalin under control, but it's quite difficult, to be honest. As you can see now, we are focusing on infrastructures, but we have opened all the path towards, where is it, the anti-Soviet Trotsky Center, which, which will be the next uh, focus. And uh, last but not least, we declared war on Turkey and Romania to expand our borders just a little bit, make some kind of army experience, and let's see. Due to the fact that we have army experience, I could add already a spirit of the academy, which will give me some... Let's say boost when I when I level up my armies. The Queen of the Battle Infantry Leader uh, XP gain 20%. Uh, that's great. To be very honest, I'm not really sure if I will be able to keep them because I want to change the land doctrine. I would like to go to the Trench Warfare. I know, I know, guys, it's, it's really not the most uh, audacious uh, doctrine, but the Grand Battle Plan with Moscow, I think entrenchment speed and max entrenchment and all these kind of things will help me. I will take the tenacious defense so far. If my generals will level up, they will have a better chance to be defensive. I now unpause the game and let's continue. We try, of course, always to... Um, I want to finish this pocket here, if I manage. And uh, maybe we need a little bit more support, so I might take... The army that at the moment is in Ukraine, move it closer to the border, so that in case they will be able to push into Romania. That's, that's an idea. And, ah, oh, by the way, I didn't check. I need to take this Erzurum, I have to take the logistic centers and I even didn't control that uh, to be honest before here there is another one okay uh, because uh, that's going to help us uh, a lot I actually don't care if I win or lose this this battle I care if I win or lose this battle here behind which is absolutely uh, more important so let's give more Troops, let's speed up a little bit also. And we have the mechanical computing, the dispersed industry. Now I am going to give the infantry equipment. And let's get back here. Uh, we are almost ready. Let's take construction. No, not really. Let's move uh, and research the radio. And I might consider doing an inspection in the Navy to avoid... Um, issues with the paranoia fine actually now we are both winning both the battles here we have the chance to take over two divisions maybe not more actually I should just order Zhukov to steamroll uh, I think it's gonna be easier I think that Turkey is not able to defend all the territory apparently well if that's the case I think I'm going to push forward and take Trabzon, because then we will just uh, defend. Okay, what's going on here? Yeah, of course, we're going to fire one of our um, admirers or something like that. Okay, Trabzon is uh, protected by a unit of cavalry, which is ridiculous, but... try to uh, let's try to advance everywhere guys I mean uh, okay so here I start giving some orders and let's see what happens Okay, let's give the order, let's give uh, to everybody the order to push into Romania because I think, I think it's gonna be just, just easy. And let's hire Alexander Rado, which we're going to move again into Turkey. 
and now we try to do our first cover operation which should be um, prepare a collaboration on government so one and two start when ready prepare done so we will have the co co collaborative uh, government okay we have also some air experience so i'm going to give mm, medium research speed oh this is amazing air advisor cost minus 75 experience oh guys having accident chance minus 25 percent with the soviet air air um force uh, i think it's a blessing really i i go for that i go for that absolutely let's push them look at look at this i think there is no one here protecting oh look at this look at this let's look look what's going on here i managed to to do i i think i managed to create a a trap this i i think it's going to help it's going to happen um i will use also the troops the reservoir of uh, vatutin to give a hand and i might be able finally to oh, come on infrastructure of effort is done now we wait one second one day And now we can take the anti-Soviet Trotsky Center, which is good, very good, very, very good. Let's push also with the tank. Amazing. Amazing. Already, we, we should really be able to, to push now. Okay, now we are under attack, so... We have to do all our uh, our best. To create some little juicy um sacks, but yeah it's not helping that much. Let's have a look at the other front, uh, which is absolutely better I would say. I mean, the Turkish army is uh, all, it's just butter. They are, they're not able to, they're not able to stop us. In Turkey, guys, we're doing very well. In Romania, we're a little bit slower, but we'll fix it. We will fix it now. We are already winning some, uh, killing some divisions, getting a lot of experience, which is also great. Fantastic. And now... Let's continue. I mean, I'm not a master with this game, but I think this is how it wor should work. Okay, now that we have excavation, I think I can take construction level two, which is gonna help. Those guys here should help us uh, creating another big juicy trap sack. How should I call it? Okay, we are gonna have uh, some issues. Anyways, because now I see that we have no, um, I'm going to say, we don't have a lot of uh, reinforcement. We don't have a lot of logistic on our side. Let's take the Abakir and the ba Batman. Batman? <laughs> Let's take the Abakir and Batman. And so we are going to isolate all those troops here in the south. And we're going to kill them. Or maybe we can keep them in trap and try to steal all the uh, important uh, infantry equipment that we would need anyways. And by the way, I'm going to do something right now, otherwise I forget. Let's change the cavalry division into double cavalry and military police and save it. And let's go and move the occupied territory. All of them will take the cavalry and all of them will take the liberated workers very good very very good and i need to study now the anti-partisan if i didn't do it yet yeah we have to improve the anti-partisan so that we can uh, keep our cavalry as a garrison and uh, our spies as anti-partisans and once we do that once we have done that uh, i think it's gonna be easier okay we have the second Moscow trial. 
This time we're losing Zmika Radek Prebrajenski Ryutine, who's still off, but our paranoia is going to a juicy minus 50. Um, now, I have to wait a little bit. No, I can already take the workers' dictatorship, which will increase the political power and the political power and the political <laughs> and the political paranoia will decrease. Let's do this. I don't want to wait. Plus, I could already unlock uh, some doctrines, but I prefer to take an air spirit. Air home defense factor plus ten percent. So when we protect our mother Russia, we will have a ten percent of, of of factor. Okay, let's take Akari. Let's now close completely those troops. And let's go back to Romania because I think it's easier. Wait a second, man. What are you trying to do? Come on. Rokosovsky <sighs> Rokos Rokos is now a Panzer expert. A really, really great guy. I really like this. You know what? I'm going directly on Ankara and the major cities because I have a feeling here that no one will stop me. And uh, soon we will also free up some resources in Kurdistan. Okay, the army uh, superiority is always uh, Soviet, so great, 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 great. Let me see if I can use 148. I could increase the volunteer only or the mobilization. No, let's take some chief of army. The army reformer is giving me just a lot. Of, wow, Yegor of army defense plus 10%. I'm not sure if I'm going to lose, uh, lose this guy. Um, what if you take an aircraft designer? Agility and speed of fighters. Yeah, let's take this because soon we are going to study some models. Uh, I will build a lot of uh, fighters. Uh, hey, come on. This was not supposed to work like this. Okay, how is it going? Yeah, Turkey is doing very bad. Romania instead is still resisting. So let's push. Yeah, it seems that we, we, we push them back. And uh, how's it going with the supply map? Everything is fine. Actually, you know what? I could really take... Um, I take seven divisions and I ask to try an naval attack. We should be able to do that, right? And now we have a new doctrine available. Again, uh, an air doctrine. Now I can use it. I'm going to take the air superiority. Simple as that. As simple as that. And in the officer corp. Yeah, that's... Infantry unit design, uh, this is going to help us a lot. Even if I'm experienced gain, daily command power, land doctrine cost, this is also quite good. Let's take the professional officer. And at the end, the static warfare, which will increase our entrenchment. Uh, it's, it's a particular, particular way I want to try this time. So like World War One. Uh, whew, I, I think this guy is gonna die very soon, so I avoid giving any promotion, but still. Okay, Ankara has been taken back. Okay, fine. Here in Kurdistan, we basically crushed all the enemies. Let's give the order. Or should I assign them to a 
Ah, okay, okay. It started. Okay, it started. This is gonna help. Fine. Very good. Let's see. Let's look at the paranoia. We have an hour weekly increase of 2% because we have uh, Yagoda. Pity. Mm. And we are researching infantry equipment, construction, and radio. Fantastic. Okay, good. Wait a second. Look at this. I mean, this is just uh, this is just Christmas. <laughs> is this a Christmas gift or what? Come on, man. Look at those. Look at those guys. Crazy. Gaziantep is the new capital. Let's take it. And here. Fantastic. Still a few days. Okay, it seems... It seems that Romania kind of managed to uh, hold the defense line now, which is okay, but I thought I could do better there. Okay, we have, the, we have a chance here to block another huge, huge chunk of uh, Turkish uh, units. So, on the other hand here, we can really do whatever we like. <coughs> if we take uh, Karaman, Karaman Maras, it's going to work. Okay, we could send an attaché to Spain to get some more experience, but I, should I? Not sure. I mean, maybe yeah, but I'm not sure. Okay, we have here now uh, ooh, 9, 10, 13 divisions. So after this, I think the Turkey will be done completely. We can take Istanbul now. I mean, they should they should collapse uh, they should capitulate very very soon and i think the naval invasion should be almost there oh shit okay i think i forgot something important the political paranoia was only 30% come on 3 days before 3 days before it now we have a guy that is increasing the paranoia massively Fine. We have to speed up. We have really to speed up. And look at this. Look at those 13 divisions getting crushed. Okay, we have the worker dictatorships. Yep. So it means that now in <clears throat> uh, 105 days, we can take the military conspiracy and then finish this horrible paranoia topic. Um, Okay. I'm going to expand the agit prop and I want to check what I'm doing with the industry. Okay, I didn't start yet building uh, military, uh, civilian factories. I'm still boosting my uh, infrastructure, which will give me more resources and later on will speed up massively the amount of seals that I will be able to build. Now we take Izmir and those other cities. And I think I I, I think I it's I think it's done. I think we won. Okay, good. We can take another our doctrine. We take now the ground support plus ten interception. We get better interception. And now here, look at this. I think I can I can uh, create I can, uh, I can advance slowly, but I can. Where's the... Where's the order? Okay, we are actually attacking 
from the sea. And I think this is gonna be an issue because I didn't know that Costanza would be defended, to be honest. So we we, prob we might fail this. Okay, Turkey uh, actually capitulated. We are gonna take all the states and close. So the Treaty of Bursa is the following. All Turkey now is part of the Soviet Union. End of the story. We will have, of course, to defend Turkey then when the war starts, but uh, we'll make sure that that happens. So now we take the uh, army of Zhukov. We move those guys here at the border with Poland and we give to Zhukov another um, infantry expert. Improve. Yes, that's great. Okay, fine. Um, here we are. Yeah, we, we are trying to attack, but that's quite bad. Let's uh, give some support. Nah, not necessary. Let's give some support. Let's take all the army of Vatuin and give to the other guys here this order. So let's just have to push and not don't stop. That's it. Let's give to everybody the order. Push, 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 don't stop. Okay, this, <laughs> this naval invasion <laughs> is going very bad. <laughs> that has been a very, very bad idea, to be honest. But I, uh, that was really... I could have done better. And look at this, 4% every week. It's just crazy high. It's just crazy high. We're going to have a lot of issues now. Um... Man, we're going to have a lot of issues. Let's take now our uh, intelligence agency and move our guys here in Bucharest. Because having the intel will help us, of course. And speed up the process. Let's try now to, to push. I think it's an idea. Okay, um, I think I might start an, inspe an inspection in the administration, but it's really, really, really too expensive. Am I able to use the other? Okay, fine. I think I will just need to be patient. That's what I need to do. Let's take now our... Uh, Airplanes, our air forces, let's move them here and then again into Romania, same orders. So we will have more airplanes now that in Turkey th things are going better. And the resistance, ah, yeah, 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 sure. I forgot, we have now a lot of resistance, especially look at this in, in, um, in Kurdistan. Um, but uh, we have to do our best. There are no factories, to be honest, though. Liberated workers, I think it's not. Uh, to be done. We will take the civilian oversight in Kurdistan and keep the rest. They are going to give us a lot of troubles, but we will figure it out. Good, good, good. Okay, so now that we have the uh, Ajit prop, let's continue with the industrialization. Let's go to f uh, for the heavy industry, or let me see if I can decrease the paranoia somehow with socialism in one country. Absolutely, let's do it. It's better than nothing. And let's take the first. The high heat will decrease the consumer goods. Very good, but not now. Factory output and dockyard output is not bad. Let's take this every heat of the armor, blah, blah, blah. Okay, uh, Chiang Kai-shek arrested in Shanxi is, is still needed. I think I will take this is still needed path. Let's see. Hey, come on. Come on! Push, push, push. Amazing. Now we are going to have a lot of issues with the lack of... Uh, lack of resources. So I'm going to give uh, the trucks also to those guys. And I think that... Oh, Spanish defeated. The Republic has been defeated. There is only the nationalist Spain. I didn't. I was not involved in this uh, war. I didn't care too much. So, 
I think I will have to anyways infiltrate the political the administration which is horrible but uh, it's better than the army or the air force the army never the air force horrible but administration i hope it will not impact on my research speed or let's see so galaxy is over mm, I, I think i think it's just i think we i think we are going to uh we're gonna win Okay, stop. Understaff bureaucracy, political power gain minus 10%, construction speed minus 10%. Man. I cannot do this. I cannot do this. For one year, I'm going to increase the political paranoia. Uh, that was a very, very bad uh, choice. Now the political paranoia is 28 and uh, shit. Really shit. I couldn't afford that. I couldn't afford such a malus, really. Okay. Thanks, God. The next uh, crazy behavior of a big mustache Stalin uh, is purging someone in the Navy. Which, again, I really don't care too much. But still. We are Bucharest. We have Bucharest guys. I think this is going to be good. <laughs> this is very good to be honest. Because Bucharest now is in our hands. I don't know how those guys are uh, still resisting. I think that having taken Bucharest, uh, all the all the logistics is coming from Cluj, which is a big problem. It's a big problem for them because they are not able. Come on, come on, come on, let's push. Let's push, guys. Let's push. Go, go, go. Great, I like when I see green, and it's for June 37, so it's time. Huh? For satisfactory reports right away, <laughs> thanks God, I could do that. And I will decrease another 10 points uh, very soon, so we'll bring the paranoia back to zero. Whew. Wow. Doctrine is available. Stop that. We take also the infrastructure, the, uh, infrastructure destruction. And for the next one, we are going to need 115 uh, um, experience. Fine, we will have it. National focus. So the military conspiracy will take 35 days. So I'm going to move somewhere else now. Heavy industry. Let's do that. Talking about that, finally, we are done with our infrastructure boost. Infrastructure boost. And Romania, it seems. It seems that in Romania we are doing well, finally. Good, good, good. They will capitulate very soon. Good. I keep uh, investing also in spionage because I think it's going to be useful. And now I am moving into uh, Trench Warfare. Trench Warfare will give me immediately max entrenchment and plus entrenchment speed instead of a uh, reinforcement rate and minimum training level. Then planning. Then I will have also plus defense to my infantry. And then the army will have breakthrough and soft attack. Then I will have to decide whether I take assault. Or infiltration and that's that's something we will decide later not now now we have a, a boost to construction we take also excavation very important great okay it seems that uh, we can take Cluj with a tank probably Uh, 
uh, how long will it take? We're almost there. We are almost there, really. I think I forgot to give an order to this guy. I, I have this feeling. <laughs> I have this feeling I didn't give an, order, an attack order. Fine. Very good, very good. Very good, okay. Fine. I might consider to release those countries before the war starts um, as, a, as puppets and, and uh, forget to call them in the war. Okay, the German-Soviet treaty starts. This is amazing because we will have, uh, of course, some better tanks. Uh, we will start researching them soon. But now we start the military conspiracy focus and I promised you that in the second episode we would have finished the war against Romania and Turkey. Okay, I delivered only 50% but it was fun. I hope you had fun guys. Thank you for watching and see you next time.